yeah. yeah. Say God's got a blessing God got with my name on it. Ooh, God's got a blessing. Come on, put your hands on it. Clap your hands. somebody on your arm but you wouldn't have nothing in your heart so what we're trying to say to you today the point that we are trying to make is that if you don't have love it doesn't matter what else you have in your life if you don't have love then it don't mean so when we look at chapter 13 we would do a disservice to the word if we didn't back up and they look were at chapter so 12 it was with tongues in the prophetic that it was creating division right. in the you church. You see, he ends chapter 12 with a lead-in into chapter 13, uh, and he says, desire the greater gifts. Now, I wish we had some time to talk about the roles of tongues and to talk about the roles of prophecy and how one edifies the body and the other one edifies the individual, that's right. but that's not what we're here today for. We're here today to talk about what? Man. Love. So as it, we deal with these first three verses, let's analyze them together. I need you to put on your student hat today as we look again at these three verses. We see something very striking in these three verses. What is striking is that immediately you can see that it is a structure of repetition. That within only three verses, there's a phrase that is mentioned three times. And in those three times, the phrase is connected to five different examples. Whenever you're looking at the text and it looked like God is repeating himself, God don't stutter. No, he's saying it over and over again because I think he means And when we look in the text, it. the phrase that is mentioned over and over again is this. But do not have love. Over and over again, but do not have love. So in the text, preceding this phrase is a perspective. Following the phrase is the reality. W what do I mean? In our Christian walks, the perception is, is that if we have things, that makes us a good Christian. That if we have things, that means that things are okay with us. Here, here's the example that Paul uses. Paul says, okay, if you have the gift of tongues, if you have the gift of prophecy, if you have the gift of wisdom or the gift of faith, again, the, the perception is, is that if you have those things, you're a good Christian. Surely, if you speak in tongues, you're a good Christian. Surely, if you have faith, you are a good Christian. That is the perception. But if you don't 
have love, there is a reality that is different from the perception. Somebody say amen if you're with me. Yeah, so Paul is showing us that it doesn't matter what you have if you don't have love. Okay, write this first point down so we can get y'all out of here. here. Here's the first point. Write, write this down. Take a picture of the screen. Do something so you can get this to somebody. Here's number one. Love is not...